Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at permaculturenews.org, the website for the Permaculture Research Institute. We're going to go over two articles on how hugel swales may be a bad idea. Now, just quickly for a reference point, a swale is used on the contours of a hilly piece of land to retain water. It's kind of like a ditch that follows the contour of the land, traps the water, and then on the opposite side of the ditch, on the downhill side, is a little mound. You don't want to compress that mound. You want to have it loose-fitting soil so it wick, wicks the water up, and you plant some trees. But hugel swales are using hugel culture and making a swale out of it, which is basically taking trees or branches and then putting dirt on top of them to make a hill sort of like this image here uh, just as you can see a drawing you can also bury it in the ground just dig a ditch put some woody material branches or full trees and then cover it with dirt but if you use it as a swale well wood floats and let's say you have an acre of land at one large swale on a hillside at the bottom of the hill well if you get an inch of rain that's 24,000 gallons of water and then it hits this swale and hits the mound that's made partially with wood well those logs that wood's going to start floating and it could start pick up picking up a section of that swale move it out of the way and then you got a landslide now maybe not a very fast moving landslide but as this article points out you don't need a lot of speed if you got a lot of mass and 24,000 gallons of water well that's a lot of mass so if you want to build soil on a hillside and manage your water. You can use hugel culture, but make sure it's in very small beds like this. That way it doesn't trap a whole lot of water and a whole lot of mass. Personally, on my farm, I got a whole bunch of wood chips that were composted for a year, so they're the best to use after composting. Spread them out evenly over the soil. Then I put about an inch or two of compost and then mixed it up into sort of a fluffed up raised bed. And it was on a clay filled hillside that was almost no good soil and now after one year the soil is awesome it's great and next year it's going to be even better but you know what there's a lot of good ideas in these articles on what to do and not to do when building your swales or hugel culture beds and i'm going to link to both these articles in the description and if you'd like to see more news headlines like this subscribe to my channel have a great day